I do personal PC builds in my channel and often I get messages of budget PC builds. Well this is as cheap as it can get without sacrificing much on performance. This is Raspberry Pi Model B. Does it worth it? Well actually it does. Starting with the build and the design, yeah, this essentially is a motherboard with embedded quad-core processor, 1GB of RAM, Ethernet port, 4 USB 2.0 ports, a micro USB for power, HDMI, and a 3.5mm audio jack. It's got all the essential things you need, along with a couple of developer-specific display and camera module, along with GPIO pins. Setting up a Raspberry Pi is as simple as it can get. One way is to download Raspberry OS and flashing it into a microSD card using Win32 disk image. Make sure your microSD card is at least 8GB and has a much better read and write speed. That is, a class 10 microSD card has a way faster read and write speed than a class 4 or a class 6 microSD card. This is very essential as the Raspberry Pi has no storage and the SD card acts as its drive and a slow SD card means a slower Raspberry Pi. The best and the easiest way to install a Raspberry Pi operating system is through Noobs. Simply download the Noobs and extract the entire Noob files into the root of your SD card and plug the SD card into Raspberry Pi and plug in the micro USB cable to turn the Raspberry Pi on. If everything has done correctly, you should see Pixel Board where you can connect your Wi-Fi network to download additional operating system you prefer or you can simply select the default operating system that is Raspbian OS with Pixel Launcher and that's essentially what we're going to do for this. And finally the Raspberry Pi gets into the Pixel desktop. Now that we got our operating system up and running, navigate into various menus are familiar as it can get. But still, the big question is what can it do? Well as far as multimedia is concerned, Raspberry Pi could handle video playback at ease as well as photos and music. Browsing is respectable but it's definitely not its strong point. YouTube videos did play well on Raspberry Pi but if you are juggling with various tabs in the browser, you are going to have a bit of a hard time in Raspberry Pi 3. This made me to conclude Raspberry Pi may not even handle games. But there are some Python based simple games but I was really surprised to see Minecraft in Raspberry Pi and it's the official version and it works well smooth. It's not the open world game you know. Sure, it's not the most graphical demanding game out there, but still, if you're looking for a Minecraft or a multimedia PC, this could actually be your solution. Plus, Raspberry Pi supports a bunch of various operating systems, one among them can turn the Pi into a home multimedia console. So, Raspberry Pi is a great device. For developers, it's essentially a Minecraft. Build, create and deploy anything you could think of. But for general consumers, it's kinda love it or hate it deal. It's not the plug and play device we know. There is a bit of work to do, but the main purpose of a Raspberry Pi is to promote basic computer science teaching in schools and in developing countries and for that purpose, it's a win-win for all. So what do you guys think? Do let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to put us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you.